Magazine Speed Loader When dealing with the 45-round cartridge of the US AR-15 semi-automatic rifle, manual loading becomes an impractical endeavor due to its time-consuming nature. To tackle this, police officers and hunters often turn to costly specialized devices for faster reloading. However, an intriguing alternative that might grab your interest is right before you, a homemade automatic reloading contraption crafted from a simple piece of wood. Sporting an uncomplicated design, this device is assembled using standard carpentry tools. For those intrigued by its construction, you'll find ample video tutorials available online to guide you through the process. Hovercraft Crafted by Ken McDonald, this hovercraft is a testament to resourcefulness. Constructed from readily available materials, Ken utilized insulation and wooden sheets, ingeniously bonded with glue. Concrete blocks came into play for precision pressure. For the air pad, a sturdy plastic-coated fabric was meticulously chosen. The end result glides exclusively on flat surfaces or gentle grass, maintaining a leisurely pace while emitting considerable noise. Regardless of its quirks, this creation continues to awe onlookers with its impressive presence. DIY Prosthetic Hand Worldwide, countless amputations occur annually. Sadly, the prosthetic market often proves frustrating. Consider a resourceful handyman who tested the iDigits model, only to find it sluggish and uncomfortable. Unyielding in his quest for a remedy, he embarked on creating his own prosthetic. His innovation stands as an accessible alternative, straightforward, functional, and cost-effective. Sourcing parts from Amazon, this all-metal, purely mechanical creation operates sans batteries. With each finger comprising less than 10 components, the entire design-to-assembly process consumed around 600 hours. Interestingly, calculating based on those hours, this homemade prosthesis rings in at approximately $48,000, rendering it more affordable than the iDigits model. In the 19th century, firewood-fueled traction engines gained popularity. In modern times, witnessing such vehicles is remarkable, especially when crafted by individuals rather than companies. This model accommodates wood on board and can also use biomass briquettes or charcoal as alternatives. While lacking practical utility, it holds potential for basic agricultural tasks if desired. It's not time to put down the camera just yet, let's delve into the wrist-mounted mini crossbow. Initially, the creator was merely having some fun and didn't plan to share the outcome online. However, the result turned out to be quite remarkable. This compact crossbow boasts a magazine accommodating up to five rounds, facilitating rapid firing. With limited power, it's fitting for indoor practice. It's designed to shoot pen rods or safer printed ammunition to avoid harm. Interestingly, a business idea sprouted in the comments, merging the crossbow with Nerf ammunition could instantly attract buyers. As of now, the STL files for 3D printing can be found on Thingiverse. Watercar Panther Dave March devoted 14 years to crafting a versatile vehicle that conquers both land and water. Today, it has evolved into a commercial venture, with mass production of this remarkable creation. Built upon a Jeep SUV foundation, it flaunts a reimagined lightweight steel chassis and a fiberglass body. Its seamless transition between land and water modes takes mere seconds. On terra firma, the Panther attains speeds of up to 55 miles per hour. While on water, it's a tad more cautious at up to 44 miles per hour, ensuring safety. Powering it is a 3.7-liter Honda VTEC engine, and this model accommodates up to four passengers comfortably. These clever mini tables are now available in the UK for just $192. Simply provide your car's make and model. 
With a tabletop measuring 60 by 45 centimeters, you can customize both tilt and height. Ideal for a swift snack on road journeys or enhancing camping convenience, these tables are effortlessly installable, needing only a screwdriver and a 13 mm wrench. In a mere 10 seconds, the setup is complete. These tables have rapidly expanded to 15 countries, including Japan, and it's clear why. Mini Food Processor Don't be disheartened by the absence of high-tech kitchen gadgets. Online tutorials offer a wealth of guidance to create your own solutions. A case in point is this DIY mini processor, crafted from a bottle cap, an electric motor, and a battery. The maker employed a drill and hot glue gun in the process. This innovative contraption facilitates food blending directly in a glass jar. The blender attaches to the jar lid. Though not the mightiest processor, it suffices to transform soft fruits into smooth purees. Innovations have extended beyond, with LED displays incorporated into backpacks, helmets, and even entire buildings. Now, inventors have gone a step ahead by integrating an Adafruit floorboard, weighing only 4 grams, into a cap. This empowers them to program diverse luminous patterns, ranging from hearts and squares to an equalizer-style display. Operating on a compact 500 mAh battery, communication and charging are efficiently managed through a USB cable. Remarkably, you can construct this cap on a budget, the Adafruit floorboard comes in at just $15. Witness another exceptional vehicle, shaped by everyday individuals, the Vespa Extreme Modification. Our destination is Indonesia, where this extraordinary 7-meter-long fusion of a motorcycle and a go-kart came to life. With its distinct hull design, it accommodates multiple passengers simultaneously. Given its 47 wheels, a single fuel tank wouldn't suffice, prompting the addition of two tanks. However, this unique creation does come with a couple of limitations, subpar maneuverability and the occupant's close proximity to the ground. Some individuals truly luck out in the neighbor department. Take this inventor, for example, who crafted a cart with a dash of hot rod culture for a neighboring five-year-old. Employing a garden wheelbarrow, a scooter engine, frames from old bicycles, and even garden chair parts, they concocted what the creator aptly calls a Frankenstein conglomeration. Powering the vehicle are two 18-volt Makita batteries, propelling it to speeds of up to 20 kilometers per hour. Interestingly, even adults find it a tempting ride. If you're intrigued, step-by-step -step instructions accompanied by photos and videos can be found on Instructables.com. Can press. Empty cans tend to occupy excessive space. Hence, before hauling them to the recycling center, compression is vital to reduce their bulk. A practical solution to manual labor is a DIY can crusher, such as this one. Designed for cans of any size, it completes a working cycle in a mere two seconds. This translates to a potential productivity of 1,800 cans per hour. However, the device necessitates manual loading as its only drawback. It operates using a standard power supply. If you're fortunate to have a river nearby, a unique opportunity presents itself, crafting your very own portable mini power plants. The creator discloses that the initial version yielded approximately 1.6 watts of power. In the second iteration, an old drill was cleverly integrated to establish a gear ratio of 1 to 5. Despite their less than imposing aesthetics, both versions effectively fulfilled their purpose. Moreover, room for future improvements remains. The inventor, intrigued by possibilities, is especially keen on expanding to a larger barge-sized version, suitable for utilization on a larger river.